I don't want to wrap this up very quickly. I just want to, because it's because when you said certain things, it made me think of other things. So I'm just going to give you the verse, the hadith about where Mutawah, the verse about Mutawah. But the thing is, I'm not, I don't know. No, you can tell me. You can give me your verse. Narrated Abdullah Bukhari. It says, we used to participate in the holy wars carried on by the Prophet. And we had no women with us. So we said to the Prophet, shall we castrate ourselves? But the Prophet forbade us to do that. And thenceforth, he allowed us to marry a woman temporarily by giving her even a garment. And then he recited, O oh, you who believe, do not make unlawful the good things which Allah has made lawful to you. Now, my question is this. If these men had w women, wives at home yes. and they've gone away to war yes. and now they're going to engage in a temporary marriage, yes. is this fair to the original wife okay. and does he have to tell the original wife? Okay. Because if he doesn't, yeah. we cannot then say yeah. this is fairness yeah. to the woman because okay. something is going yeah. on between her yeah. or him and her. Okay. She might be devastated. So one no is two, two, okay. two parts of the question. Okay, okay. number one. Okay, so what we're going to do is, number one, is that so I go don't know Islam. about this matter. Okay. Number one, you've quoted a hadith, which yes. I need to check the context, why it was revealed, how it was revealed. Yeah. Number three, it was at the time. No, no, no. The hadith. It's actually showing you scripture. It's in the Bible. But when was it revealed? Who was it for? Context before and after. Yeah. Wait. Yes. Is it the context? No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. When, when it revealed, like, if that's the case, if that's the case, then you'll have these uh, people coming and saying, "Yeah, kill the disbelievers wherever you find them." Yeah, but what about the verse before and after? Well, it told you that they were in the war and that they wanted to engage in um, what was their, sexual. No, no, no. What was, no, no, no. What was their condition? How? No. How long? How long were they going for? You are the one. Yeah. Anyway, okay. <laughs> anyway, that's the anyway, make it your point. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so the issue is yes. if they go into war, these wars were not like fam, let me get a Friday, yeah? Years or months you go in there, yeah? Okay. That's why they say should we castrate ourselves. Yeah. Yeah? That so, so, two days. so, so, no, 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 you're missing the point. You're missing yeah. the point. When you go into war, okay, okay, there's a whole different context to it. So, why it was revealed? Why it was prohibited, we need to discuss that in detail. I need to look into the matter. Okay. Yeah. So that was there. We need to find out firstly if that's authentic. If it is, what's the context? I need to know that. Why it's Bukhari? Okay, if it's Bukhari, it's authentic. Then we need to find out why it was revealed. Uh, Next week. I need to look into it. So you're looking to Okay, that's fine. That's fine. 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 Yeah, no, I know, I know, but we need to yeah, we need to know. Quality, but no, no, we so, need to know yeah, why we can it was revealed. Because week. because these are real issues, because it's it's easy for us to live in the two thousand and nineteen, yeah, and uh, look at the matter back then. No, it was totally different, man. There was yeah. a different era. Why were they doing certain things? And not only that, yeah, if you look at if today. you look at the Romans, the Christians, no, the Persians, no, when they were going, forget this says married, get yeah. married to them. They were going and raping like it's happy days. I'm not all Christians. I'm not saying I'm saying there was bad Christians who would go to war and women they would rape them like it's happy days and kill them. So we need to look why yeah, God legislated that. that. Exactly. Well. Yeah. Ali, no, no, there was bad Muslims Ali, who did bad things. You're talking about but, marriage. Yes. So, you're talking about marriage. Look, I know you want to get married. Everyone's yeah. asking about your marriage documents. Listen, that part one's, part one's coming out. I've seen them. I've seen them. Trust me. So all up my claim is this: <laughs> that if you go, you and then you get go, married. One, you've gone to war, <laughs> and then you've engaged in an extramarital <laughs> relationship. What? So my claim is this: what we discussed next week. No, we call them. We've gone to that. No, I'm saying just what next week we can just we've had a look at the verses that I find it disagreeable that you can go to war, potentially have an extramarital relationship, even if it's a temporary marriage behind your wife's back and you don't even have to tell her you might even come back with an STD there's, 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 because there's, there's, that's why I asked you do you have you're, can you lie to your wife you're, 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 what you're doing is you're, you're thinking thinking yeah, about but when you find out we'll no, discuss no, no, this no, no, further but what you're this doing now you to you're, ponder. The, but the, the way you're putting it yes. is problematic because what you're doing is you're looking at it with the context the glasses with today yeah, but you said in terms of yeah, but STDs and uh, yeah, no, 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 exactly. we don't, we don't, has been a problem for history. No, we don't know. We don't know. Of course. How do you know? No, one second, one second. When it's back logical. in the days, no, 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 it's right. not logical. Uh, three, three thousand years ago, let's yes. say four thousand years ago, yes. or two thousand years ago, so you think people. Were, yes. No, no, one second. Gonorrhea, one second, one second. Chlamydia. Nobody were well. There were nations that lived rock up like us. Yeah, yeah. sadly today how we live here. Yeah? But not all nations were like that. Yeah. So we shouldn't go and generalize no, yeah, and make it seem like every nation there was. But you saying they're like. That it doesn't mean everyone has to be going to sleep around. No, 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 no. Like disease, why transmitted? People, 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 mar people married. 
Yes. There wasn't none of this sleep around with uh, 500 men. Yeah, yeah but I'm saying if women. you go and engage in mutta, it increases the potential. No, you're missing the point. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't know happening. the conditions of what mutta was for. Why you got prohibited? That's what I'm saying. You're sticking to it. So yeah. I'm saying, look, we're going to discuss no, it next I'm week. I need to look into you, it. Look, if you marry a woman for three days, yes? You're, you're missing and the point. No, but listen to what I'm saying. You yeah. marry a woman for three days. Yeah. Someone else likes her. He marries her for three days. It's Let's a, say someone else. This is not the, a, logic yeah. tells us the potential is there. We, yeah, do you agree? Okay, but, but firstly, we need to look at the conditions of Muta okay. and so how it's done. We'll discuss that next that's week. what I'm saying to you. Yeah, next but week. I'm just giving you my thought process. But that, that might be flawed. That might, no, you can't so, say it's wrong until you find out exactly right, we'll that the week. registrations. All right, so next week we're going to discuss Muta yeah. marriages and the conditions. Yeah? yeah? All right, cool. So now today we're going to discuss um, the Trinity from the scripture and Tawheed from Islamic we're gonna, we're gonna well, We're going to speak about Trinity and Tawheed, but before we do, yes. we need to make sure that this, where we're quoting from is reliable. We need to make sure it's from God, because if it's not from God, what, what am I quoting? What, what, am, what am I quoting? Because John 5, 3. If, if, John, if, John, if, John, if, John 7. John, first John 5, 7. What's that? 7, 5. What's that? Is that what you're going to quote? No. Okay. No, what is that? What's John 5, 7? I don't, I don't know, I'm confused. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm okay, no, no, go on then. Yeah. No, that's what I'm statement. saying. So, um, okay. So, our, our, our take on the matter is very clear. Like, do you want to start first or do you want to start first? Okay, so for example, in Islam, it's very simple. Yeah, we believe in the oneness of God. Um, that there is nothing like Him. Yeah, that's why we recite five times a day. Um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I will be lying in the Shaitan ar-Rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki Yawmi al-Din. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nastain. Don't forget this, yeah? Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nastain. Ihdina sirat al-Mustaqim. Sirat al-Ladhina an-amta alayhim. Ghayr al-Makhtubi alayhim. Wala al-Dalin. Ameen. What is this? We seek refuge. Okay. In God from the cursed Satan. So the mo I just want to translate. Yeah. The most merciful, the very merciful, God's attribute. Yeah? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praises and glory and gratitude belong to the Lord of the whole universe. We acknowledge his lordship. Yes? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahman Rahim. The most merciful, the very merciful. Maliki Yawmiddin. The owner of the day of judgment so now he's the owner of their judgment there's no prophet muhammad no jesus peace be upon him just him yeah uh, this is very profound right here yeah these two statements you alone we worship and you alone we ask for help what does that mean this is where every majority of the religions gone wrong yeah okay be it christianity be it sikhism hinduism what other religion? Even there's some Muslims who have a problem with this. Yeah, Guide us to the straight path. Sirat al and amta alayhim. The path of those whom you favored, favored, غير المخطوب عليهم ولا الدالين. Not of those who earn your anger and went astray. Now, this is what Islam is. This is the mother of the book, Surah Fatiha. Now, why did I mention this? Um, is that, is that the Surah I don't know exactly what Surah Fatiha was ruled about. Is that the beginning of the... So one of the it first might be. No, I wouldn't say it's one of, uh, no, it wasn't one of the first revelations. First revelation was Iqra, uh, reading the name of the Lord. That wasn't the first one, yeah? So was it Medina or Mecca? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know this one. I don't know. Surah Fatiha, I'm not sure if it's the Meccan or uh, Medina. Uh, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah? But do you see what makes us so different? Yeah? We affirm God's Lordship, yeah? So when we said all oh, praises belong to the Lord of the whole universe. Okay. <laughs> we believe when God Almighty does anything, yeah? He does not need Jesus. He does not need Muhammad. He doesn't need Moses. He doesn't need angels. He needs nobody. That's point number one. This is Tawheed. God Almighty's Lordship. Now, when Allah SWT says, you alone we worship, you alone we ask for help. This is where we kind of differ. Yeah? We worship God alone and we ask help from him alone. Some people go through Prophet Muhammad, some people go through Jesus, some people go through Moses probably, some people go through Ganesh, some people go through Ganesh, all, all kind of people. Yeah? This is point number two. 
we accept his lordship. We single out God. We say God is the one who controls the heavens and the earth. He doesn't need anybody's help to do anything. When we worship God, we single out God. We don't say, oh, Muhammad, can you ask God that this? Oh, Muhammad, can you help me? No, not Jesus. Point number two, last point. Point number three is his names and his attributes. Yeah? We know Allah is Al-Jabbar, the most powerful. Yes? Al-Quddus, the pure one. Al-Rahman, Al-Rahim, sorry. Yeah? That's his attributes. What is his attributes? Yeah? The only deceiver here is you. Yeah? That's why you can't, you can't, you can't hold yourself. Yeah? You can't, yeah. No problem. Yeah, you just uh, bur that, that burn in your ridge. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. He, he, he can't hold himself. Yeah. So, his lordship, we affirm. We single him out in worship, and we affirm his names and attributes. He's the most powerful, the all-knowing. This is tawhid. What is what? What do you have to offer, and where are you offering it from? That's what I want to know for the people. Okay. So can I? Uh, uh, let me, can I ask just some questions just in regard to yeah. what your, your statement is and I'll yeah. go on to the Trinity. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So obviously I asked him about the revelation of Surah Al-Fatah. Now what I've noticed in the Quran, because the Quran says Allah gives clear guidance. So you can have, for example, Ali Iram 370 where Allah... Oh, you're going to the verse? Ali Mani, yeah. Okay. Well, what verse? Uh, 370 or 70. No, no, I don't think there's 370. So, so, Iran, so 70, 70, 70 yeah. Yeah. Okay. For example, here it will say, O oh, people of the scripture. Yes. Allah's asking a question, yes? Yes. Okay. I'll give you another surah. If you go to 297. Which one? Imran? No, to uh, Al uh, Bak Bakara. Surah Bakara, yeah? 97, yeah? Yeah. Yep. For example, it will say, say, yeah. Whoever is an enemy to Jibril. Yes. See, that's a fair. So I could recite other verse, but what I'm trying to say mm. is basically when Allah speaks in the Quran, he gives a command. For example, say, cool. or, um, you know. So when we go to Surah Al Baqarah, because you said, if in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, uh, praise be to Allah, the cherisher, most gracious, master of the day. Uh, so my question is because. I find that when Allah talks, he gives a very clear command. So when he says, for example, it is you who we worship and you who we ask for help, yes. I have to ask who is Allah talking to? Okay. Because Allah is talking in the third person. Yes. And I cannot see anywhere in this where Allah is giving an instruction for, because this is a citation in your prayer. Okay. Like you recite it as a prayer, so yes. how would you then know this is a prayer? Because it seems like Allah is speaking okay. to someone, yeah. but he's that is other than himself. Because he, if he's okay. saying guide us to the to the straight path, yeah. it is you who we worship, you who we ask for help. Mm. This language seems very inconsistent with the rest of the command. So how would you explain that? Okay, so basically what you're saying is, yes, uh, Surah Fatiha. If, if God is the one who's revealing this, yes. who is God talking to? Yes. Okay, so like you said before, he's speaking in, at the fir uh, uh, third person. Okay. Yeah? Okay. okay, so he's saying, he's revealing it to Angel Gabriel. And Angel Gabriel is bringing it to Prophet Muhammad. Yeah? Okay. okay. So this is not the only thing that we recite. The okay. whole of the Quran we recite. But then where is the instruction for Muslims to, to recite it? Of course. this is uh, uh, Because you do it as a prayer. No, no, no. Look. So for example, that's why I gave you those two verses, examples. No, no, the whole Quran we recite. Okay. The whole of the Quran, okay. like you know in Ramadan, yeah? Yes. So in Ramadan, usually the, the most uh, mosques, they finish the whole Quran off. Okay. Yeah, so they have an aim. We're going to finish the whole Quran off by the end of Ramadan. Yeah, so they'll recite the whole Quran. They'll start from uh, Surah Nas uh, to Surah Fatiha. Or they'll start from Surah Fatiha, yeah? So this is everything that God Almighty has revealed. We recite it. So God Almighty here is telling us what to recite, yeah? So when he says, but when the name the of... Because, the, okay, for example, what I'm trying to say yeah. is like the Quran, for example, is like stories as well, like There's Moses, stuff. Bani There's Israel, yeah. Yeah. and there'll be certain things that are given specifically to the Muslims, or as I gave you the verse where it says, tell the people of the, the yes. book or whatever. Yes. So then, how is it this verse? It's, it seems because, like. Because, because the Prophet, look, look, this is the reason why the Prophet وسلم, was sent. Because when Aisha and Anha, when they asked her about the Prophet, وسلم, he said he was the walking Quran. Yeah? Like his actions, his behavior, what he did is the Quran. Yeah? So what he teaches us, like the Prophet peace be upon him, his appearance, his silence, his orders, um, his, um, there's four or five other stuff, yeah? There's, that's everything that we take from him. So when we say the Prophet was silent, okay, why was he silent? 
we take what do we take from that his appearance beard like you yeah inshallah by uh, Islam yeah we got a beard yeah okay so the way we use maswak the way we dress everything is from the prophet peace be upon him so the prophet peace be upon him is telling us and teaching us to recite this in our prayers and this is a common thing that's known i don't know i'm trying to uh, if that makes sense yeah but that's what i'm saying i it may be a stigma but everywhere else it's specific because if, no, Allah, yeah, look, if, if the quran is eternal detailed. Th yeah and allah is speaking in eternity and then these are it's been jotted down in yes. the eternal quran and then given to the to muslims no, because this, 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 what do you mean eternal quran well the, yeah, the quran is the eternal word of allah isn't it yeah the speech and then, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then but it, this, this here, this was, it was also in the eternal tablet, or so maybe the not Quran, the, the Quran is the speech of God. Yes. Yeah, but this is eternal the writing. This the is the writing. Tablet. So yes. Yes. So it's also written on the eternal tablet. Yes. Yeah, that's what I mean. So yeah. then, it, obviously, it's given to the people. Yeah. As well. So yes. we see. It's recited to the people. Yeah, yeah. So we see Allah communicating with people and giving them instructions of what to yes. do and when. Yeah. But then we see because obviously this is like a prayer that you have to incorporate. Uh, so Al Fatah is one of the. Uh, yeah, the all of you them. Have to. Now this one is a must. This is this yeah, is exactly. part. This, this, is a, is, this is a pillar of yes. salah. Yeah, exactly. It's a pillar. With this, there's no salah. So, but then where do we learn? This is from the within the Quran that this is an instruction for your for it to now, be the your. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has told us. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has taught us the prayer. So, for example, one of the pillars of prayer is that you have to stand up. One of the pillars of prayer is that you say Allah Akbar before you start. Surah Fatih is one of the other pillars. Going into ruku is one of the uh, the uh, pillars getting back up is one of the pillars going into sajda is one of the pillars yeah so these are everything that's taught that's what the prophet came and taught us otherwise the quran would have been a very long book that's why when the quran is revealed the prophet peace be upon him knows what was revealed and why it was revealed so that's why when certain people christians come and say oh in this quran it says kill them wherever you find them who, who understood it like that yeah, but I, I would say, because from a Christian perspective, yes. for example, like, we, you know, this whole thing about who does Allah pray to Allah, who Allah yeah, But what that, I'm trying yeah. to say is for a Christian, yes. this seems as if Allah in eternity is speaking of something other than him, rather than not saying, really, so really. rather than giving a command to say, tell the Muslims, as we see in other scriptures, yeah. to say, say, tell the people of the scripture to do this X, Y, and Z. Where it seems like everything yeah, else. Then, then I can say, that's like God say, t telling himself, yeah, yeah. tell the people of the scriptures. In it, can I not say that? If I was going with your argument, yeah, but I, would say, I would say God is saying, tell the people of the scriptures. Who's he talking to? Well, he's obviously he's no, telling no, no, Muhammad. No, 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 no but the been, thing is, the thing yes. is, look, if we go to another verse here, yeah, so for example, um, their situation is like that of a man who he's not ordering anything. He's just telling us a story. Yeah, so information. Yeah, but so the, then the, if, the, if Surah, if we take Surah Al Fatah as the same, it's information. That no, it's inf no, it's information. But the thing is, we us reciting it. Yes. And the information, it is information that we're reciting. What's the problem? Yeah, but then you're reciting what Allah speaks. Yeah. So for example, That's all Quran. like uh, that whole verse, it's you. You could be reciting information about Bene Israel. Yes. As, uh, yeah, about yeah. Moses. Yeah. That's fine. It can be even it's, the one, it's informational yeah. purposes. Yes. So, you're, so you're learning. But then you're, you're, when Allah is saying it is you, if, 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 for example, if I said to you, recite this, and I'm telling you this is how you recite it, then I say... But that's the prophet's job. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm asking, where is the... Because the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us. The instruction from Allah that no, this but is... That, that, why do you think he sent this prophet? Okay. He sent his prophet for a whole purpose, to tell us this, to tell us what does Surah Fatiha, why we should recite it. Why Surah Fatiha? Why not Surah Ikhlas? Why not Surah Nas or Surah Baqarah? Why? So, so, so why Surah Fatih yeah, specifically? Yes. Why Ruku? Why Ruku? Why can't I go like this? Why can't I do this? Why, why do I have to do this? Why? So the thing is, the Prophet Sallallahu he's told us what to do. That's why the Prophet, Allah SWT says to obey the Messenger. But then how come Allah is not instructing it? But then... I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying yeah. to say, how does this go with the Tawheed and Trinity issue? Because right now, your argument is yes. that why isn't Allah saying, I order you to recite this? But our argument yeah. was Trinity and Tawheed. Yeah, because it just seems the language seems that like Allah is referred. Because obviously it comes down to this. That, that, it may, but it's just saying to me, like, you're yes. saying, okay, I preferred. Like, if it was that I preferred. But then again, it's not our argument of it's Trinity and, and Tawheed. Do you get it? Okay, we'll move on. We'll, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll make my, my argumentation uh, as we go on. Okay. But um, yeah. so I'll just go on to, in terms of the, 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 what, the Trinity. Yeah. So, in terms of the. Uh, concept of the Trinity, it yeah. didn't just come out of thin air. No, I know that. Um, no, I'm just saying for people to oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, understand it because many people think that mm. the Trinity 
is something that was invented by the Nicene Creed. It wasn't. So it was something that was clarified during the Nicene Creed, but it wasn't taken from Roman paganism, it wasn't taken from the, the Church Fathers didn't invent the concept itself. So we have to look at why uh, Christians believe Jesus was God, because it wouldn't make sense that they just took Jesus as God because he was doing miracles because Moses did miracles, Elijah did miracles, many prophets did, but no one ever took them to be God. So we have to ask him, was it just the miracles that proved that Jesus?